Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana. I'm a business coach and mentor for women wanting to start their own businesses. Today, I am walking you through how I plan my content. And actually, it's a fun day because today is my batch content day, which I'll talk a little bit about how I set that up and what it is for me and all of that. But if you are new here, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button because we are going to be talking all about really just my strategy. I'm going to tell you everything and then you can steal my content planning strategy. If that's been a struggle for you or if you're trying to figure out how to do it, I'm going to walk you through all of the things of how I take my ideas and turn them into the content and the videos and the posts and all those different things that you see. So right now I am up a little early. I'm getting ready to get my daughter up to take her to school in a bit. I always do these film days on Tuesdays it's uh, one of the days she's gone for half the day so it allows for me to um, I'm not a makeup guru y'all so just <laughs> throwing that out there but if you do want to know anything I'm using of course let me know but um, yeah she basically is gone for half the day so on Tuesdays I don't know Tuesday has always been a day I love to do content for years so it's just become a thing so for the batch day specifically, what I'm doing is I try to record as much as possible within like a three hour time frame. So I love to get my makeup done before I go to drop her off. So when I get back, I'm not worried about that. And then if I have time, I also like to lay my outfits out as well. So then I can figure out what I am wearing and for what. But today's plan, I'm gonna be recording, I think it's two sit down videos, one face to cam Instagram reel, two or three trending reels or so. So I got a couple things to film and I like to change up outfits, switch up hair and all that. So that was, while well, I'm trying to lay my edges, I need to wash my hair so badly, but I need to stretch it just at least through the end of this week. So I'm trying to do that so I can get through what I need to get done with. So one of the biggest tips I would definitely give just off rip is if you are able to be intentional about when you can make your content happen. So if you are a mom, if you're full time working or just if you have something that takes up a lot of your time is basically what I'm getting at. Figure out a block within your week. Um, to where you can set this up. Now, I don't do this every single Tuesday. Usually I do it about every other Tuesday. Sometimes depending on how much I get done in one Tuesday, I might even be able to stretch it a little bit more. So it just depends on the situation. But typically I do this every other week, at least twice a month. That allows for me to get ahead in my video schedule, but it also allows me to stay current because I don't like to film too much in advance if I can help it because sometimes I like to just talk about real things I'm dealing with in the moment, switching stuff up. But it's always nice too if you film some stuff ahead of time, maybe you don't really have a plan for it just to have it on your schedule. So then that way, if something changes or if just life happens and you need something to post, you have some extra content. So there's a lot of ways you can look at this batch day, but the point is to just film as much as you can, look cute, have your outfits and stuff put together and just really go to work and get it all done in one day. And then you just have everything you need moving forward. So before I sit down to do any type of content planning, I usually plan my content out for the month. And I usually like to do that with a theme in mind. And so when I sit down to plan out a month, the first thing I think is like, okay, what do I have coming up? What holidays are happening? What events are happening? What launches are going on? And so that is how I decide what I'm doing. And so we're in the month of October and I wanted to really just walk you through October. So I'm gonna show you kind of a little bit of what my theme planning looks like. So I create a Google Doc every month and I sit down and I figure out what is happening within that month that's important to me or what's happening maybe the beginning of the next month that I might need to be leading up to if it's a launch or something like that. That's first and foremost, what is happening um, in the world, you know, what are the holidays, anything that you can pull from to that will affect your content, you want to focus on that first. And then from there, that's how you're going to build out what you're doing. And so with my document, I literally will go in and just start putting a whole bunch of ideas, just brain dumping things. If I'm doing a freebie that month, I do freebies on my email list every single month. So make sure you're on there if you wanna get those freebies. It's mixing it up and I do different things every month, but I like to find freebies that fit the theme. So figuring out just brainstorming some freebie ideas, brainstorming topics I could talk about 
that are around what I know is going to be happening and then specifically what is the theme and so that's what you want to think about what is my audience needing in this topic you know insert your topic here that I can help them through some of my free content and different things that I have if you have a launch or something coming up what is that thing you're launching how can the content you post within that month lead up to the launch talk about the things around that product I always give examples of like guided journals because there's so much you can do with those. If you have a guided journal coming out or even a planner for that matter, if it's, especially if it's like niche down to some way or another, there's so much you can talk about. You can talk about goal setting in specific areas. If you, um, if wellness is part of you, you talk about health and wellness, you can talk about meal plans or uh, workout routines or morning routines. You can talk about so many different things that will resonate with the audience that you want to be able to purchase your product or your service when it's available I usually do it maybe within the last week and a half of the previous month to give myself some time but if I'm thinking about it even earlier than that I will open it up and I'll start planning it even if I have ideas months out or several weeks out because I want to capture those ideas when I have them if you know you have a theme idea for six months from now go ahead and start planning it out map it out do that work so that is really important after I do that I then like to take that theme and I break it down into the bite-sized pieces of content so so I like to take that theme and then I break it down into some subtopics to kind of give an example of this right now I'm in the middle of a launch my podcast is coming up this month so excited for that also the shop is going to be launching mid-November so I'm in the middle of kind of like a month and a half launch where I'm sharing a lot of things and I want decided that for my launch I'm gonna break out break down I cannot talk today I'm gonna break down the acronym inspire which is that I created for the brand and I thought it would be fun to do that for the weeks leading up to the launch so every single week I uncover a new letter and so that is kind of my subject matter it's a little bit more than four to five subtopics honestly because it's actually a month and a half long of me going through the acronym but for you if you have a framework or if you have um, some specific things that you know are within like how you've laid out a planner that you've created or you have a subscription box and you know you're gonna be launching for the first time and you have some pillars about that box that you always want to make sure are a part of it how can you lay that out in a very cool and intentional way that will make people want to follow along with you over the weeks as it kind of builds on top of one another picking those subtopics is helpful so for me the subtopics are going to be each acronym and then from there that subtopic then becomes the pieces of content and from every subtopic I like to get present online at least three to five times a week whether that's here on my channel on my community tab if I'm doing short form content through like Instagram reel shorts trying to play with TikTok, I don't know um, if that is my email list my Facebook group there's a lot of places that I can show up and so I like to make sure that things I'm creating can be repurposed across the board so especially since everybody loves short form if you do TikTok, you can also, you might as well post it on Instagram Reel, you might as well do YouTube Short because they all are that same format. So just thinking of three to five pieces of content per subtopic, I think is very important. So now that you've kind of gotten an idea of how I break it down, now I can actually show you what the planning out part of it looks like. First of all, this is the exact thing that I am reading off of for this video, just so you can see. How I just kind of bullet point everything I don't plan it out to a T but I always give myself talking points so I know exactly what I have going on so it's just important to do that um, on here you can also see just in my notes <laughs> what I was gonna say but um, on Mondays is when I usually sit down and I'll write and edit and I also plan out what I'm gonna be doing for my batch content days as well as Tuesdays every other Tuesday is when I will actually batch the content so it's important to have that plan in place of when you're going to do things what day or what specific time block is going to be for the different things you're doing i think it's important to have that if you've seen my click up before first of all i'm obsessed with clip click up i absolutely love it and i have it set up as if i am already an empire okay like i'm always big on believing that you are going to be destined for more so and so because of that I've set it up to be like its departments in a way so from these different things we're gonna be in the content and marketing space I created a space for it because I just felt like 
it's a lot involved, a lot of moving parts, so it needed that. And then with my bigger platforms, they have their own folder because I wanna make sure that there is enough space and opportunity for me to plan everything out. So some of my smaller platforms, I decided to just kind of put it all within this platforms folder. I also have an email list folder, which has all of my different emails planned out. Um, this is where I actually write out my emails. They're scheduled so you can kind of see what's going on. I have it color coded based off of the steps within the process where they are. And then I have um, just kind of what I'm writing, what's in process, as you can see. So these are the colors I was mentioning and what needs to be scheduled. And then I also have a spot in there just to show um, because this is also part of my content is my email list um, is the copy. So this is where I actually write out my emails of what's going to be happening. I used to do this in Google Docs and I just recently switched to uh, ClickUp Docs a couple months ago. So I've been really loving it and um, I come in here and I write out my emails and it's just amazing and it's organized. So that's one of them. YouTube is a big tab for me. The production tab specifically is where I hang out on here and I have my calendar plan. So you can kind of see sometimes this is not always exact, but this is pulled directly from that document that I created, the document where I sat down, I figured out the theme and I figured out those subtopics. The subtopics are typically what I turn into YouTube videos. And then I usually take smaller pieces of the subtopic and I turn it into more short form content or I'll turn it into something for my email list and I'll break something up. So if you know that you're gonna be doing something and you're talking about something that has multiple steps, you can break that up over the course of a month and then maybe every single week you roll out the next step and then you roll it out in different ways. So your email list gets it and you may word it a little bit different there. You do it in a reel and then you have a more longer form video that talks about it. And that's just a way to look at your content as how you can break it up, repurpose it. Don't feel like you need to reinvent the wheel every single day because that's just doing too much. So like I said, I'm breaking down my acronym right now. So you can see I always I have a client spotlight series that is happening. It's always going to be the last Tuesday of every month. So I already have that on the calendar. I go live about every other week. So I have those in there and I plan out what I'm going to talk about on those. So you can see I actually go in and I will write down what I'm going to talk about on the live, which is super helpful. I also have just upcoming vlogs and things scheduled when I'm going to be putting up a YouTube short and just all of those things. So that's how I plan this out. And then I also have my Instagram stuff in here as well. Same deal, I have it set up to where if something's already drafted or I've already been working on it, I have different statuses that it can be switched to when something's scheduled. And that is the case for everything, even with my um, YouTube production calendar. It's so it's the same thing with all of my different things. So that's just a little bit of an insight to how I actually plan it out. The biggest thing I would say is no matter what project management you use for this, I think it's nice because with a lot of these, you can also type in your captions, your talking points and everything right within the same task. Um, and then as far as like the status is basically just meaning the process that you're working through until it's completed basically. So taking it from an idea, a draft, you know, you editing it or working on the concept, actually creating it, uh, then it needed to be scheduled and then posted. That's kind of how I think about the statuses. That's the term for ClickUp. But if you have a checklist that you go through, um, like I know on Trello, you can do checklists or you can even move stuff to different boards in there. Think about how you wanna lay it out, how your mind works. If you like to check things off or if you like to drag it over or click things for them to move, like there's a lot of different ways. So you, I'm not saying you have to use ClickUp, but I do think it's important to have some type of platform where you can go and stay organized. And I've found that it has helped me so much and it took me probably a good month to really sit down and get this back end part together just as far as how I wanted everything laid out within ClickUp. But I promise you that the work was well worth it. Learning how to use it was well worth it because now it's seamless for me. I'm not guessing where did I save stuff. Oh, I started planning out a video idea. What Google Doc is it in? Like it was just stuff was just all over the place. So I really just encourage you to come up with a clear process for yourself on how you're going to execute your content. Typically when I sit down to do a batch day like this, I'm working for sometimes the week I'm in currently and then the following week. So 
that's about how I do it. I would love to get more ahead, but life, right? And sometimes it has worked in my favor and I've been able to do more. So it just depends. But that's my encouragement for you. Plan everything out to a T. Don't ever go into a day of like, oh, I'm going to film some content and having no idea what you're talking about. No idea what sound you want to use. No idea what you're wearing and all. Try to plan out as much of it as possible when you're in your planning mode, when you got your planning hat on. So then when you are more in like the face mode, like now you're the talent, right? You don't have to keep switching gears and being like, oh, what am I supposed to be saying? Like already have those things in place. And I promise you it's a game changer. The process is a game changer. Just like any other process you may have at work or something like that, or the processes that we set up for our kids to follow the routines. You want to do that for creating your content. And I promise you it, it helps so much. The last at least three or four months I've been consistent with doing this and it has just changed the game for me there's no more like confusion of what i'm doing i'm not sitting down and being like oh i need to post today what should i do like it's not i need to post today what should i do it's like oh let me go on my drafts and pull out the video i filmed last week so that i can put it up so just some things to keep in mind and you know i also want to throw in there that i am human so it doesn't mean that this is perfect every single time there are weeks where i don't get a chance to batch film like when i wasn't feeling well a few weeks ago i didn't really batch film so i was kind of just filming on a whim when i could and that happens you know so give yourself that grace of course um, plan accordingly if you can if you have some extra time on your filming day film an extra video a random topic and then that way you have something in your back pocket for moments like that as well okay so a few last things i just wanted to mention really quickly so once i do that again i am a person that still likes to write things down and i still do love using my live love inspired business planner despite the fact the stationary views closed i loved this product that i created and um I will just say that it's not going anywhere. It's gonna be coming back in a different way. So if you are a fan of that planner, it will be coming back next year. Usually I like to plan on Fridays or Sundays. It just depends on how my schedule works. Um, some Fridays, my husband is off. So on those, I'll usually plan. But the ones when he's not off, I'll usually take time on like Sunday afternoons, sometimes early Sunday mornings to get some planning done for the week ahead. But what I like to do in this planner specifically related to content is so you can actually see like I have my content batch day here, which is today what I'm doing. And then I also had on here the things I needed to do Monday. So Monday was more so my Mondays. They are my chill. I don't show up on camera on Monday. It's really like, girl, get the work done. So if I have anything I need to design, if I need to write something, um, if there's anything I need to edit, Mondays and Thursdays are my days that I like to do that. So um, Thursdays, I'll still show up on camera or you know on social media, but Monday, I really you don't really see me on Monday. I usually look kind of crazy on Mondays <laughs> because I'm really just about getting the work done. I'm behind my computer all day. Um, just trying to get things done because you need that dedicated time. So I highly suggest having a day for you to execute writing captions, um, writing out your emails, designing your graphics, editing stuff. When you have that block of time set aside, it's a game changer. So I wanted to mention that. And then I have a to-do list in here. Okay, so on here you can see within this section, this is my content batch in the planner here. Um, another thing I have going on is the podcast so I'm working on that stuff as well I definitely want to do some more planning videos so that will be coming soon too but specifically for content batch today so I'm getting ready to film the podcast sit down video next just kind of announcing about it and I did a little mini vlog so I'm gonna film that portion of the vlog I'm doing this one now so I'll be able to check this off soon and then I have a couple of short reels I always like to do the long-form content first because I need to get that done no matter what. These I can always do, even like if my daughter is home, but it's harder to do a longer sit down video when she's here because I like to just be uninterrupted and get that done. These I can always piecemeal together if I have to. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That is how I plan out my content. That's how I show up consistently. That's how I hold myself accountable. I, again, I cannot stress enough having that process in place and sitting down. Themes is a game changer. Coming up with those subtopics, having a place to capture it all is helpful. 
all of these different things is what allows me to be consistent and show up so having some good content is important and it's got to be planned out it needs to be intentional again it's fine to do the fun trendy stuff sometimes i do it as well Usually those are not things that I plan because it's just something fun and extra to do, but don't just rely on that only. Like have your strategy, have your plans in place of why you're doing this content. What is it for? What is it leading people to? What action is it encouraging them to take? All of those things are important because you are running a business at the end of the day and you want to connect with people and be really clear and deliberate on what the message is that you are trying to articulate. So. I am really excited that you got a chance to watch this and just basically I gave away everything, gave y'all all my secrets and stuff to this content planning thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.